Hello world of YouTube. This is not the week I intended it to be, but if you follow me on Twitter, I announced that I'm going to be pushing back my last decade in wrap-up. I'm going to be doing the films and boss battle lists next month because general anxiety of things going on in the world right now. Um, I'm not completely happy with my best films of the decade list. My worst films, pretty happy with. My boss battles, relatively happy with. Probably going to tweak it just a little bit and see if I really am finally happy with it, but... My best films is the one I've been the most uh, stressed about. And in lieu of everything that's going on, I figured I would just push it back until I'm completely happy with it. So this week, you're going to be getting different types of content. Uh, I'm going to be doing a crossover collection update today. I'm going to be doing something very special uh, tomorrow um, involving a certain project that I've been hyping up on all my other social media. And on Thursday, I'm going to be doing a music list. So you're going to be getting a lot more music-based content this week, which is not, which would not have been the case if the week had gone how I intentionally, originally intended. So hopefully, you guys are excited for that, because I like making music-based content, and I know you guys like that as well. And before I get into what I'm going to be talking about today, if you're wondering why I'm doing this now, uh, because there's potentially something that could be announced in like 30 minutes uh, that would leave me in my house for a couple of weeks, or at least I would choose to stay at home for a couple of weeks. So I'm going to update these now because I don't plan on leaving my house um, after uh, if if it does go south. So yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna be doing my comic books first, and then I'll be updating my vinyl collection. Uh, I've got five issues from my local joint. Nothing super detailed. There's a couple of things that I got that are new for me. Uh, that I'm really excited about and some stuff that's just continuations of stories that I bought started buying already I bought the first two in a Martian Manhunter run. Uh, I really like Martian Manhunter. I think he's a cool DC hero uh, He's a little more bizarre and he's got some interesting quirks about him that I think are that are cool And I I like potentially what a lot of the at least the uh, At least what a lot of the reviews are saying about these as far as what the story could be like and so I got it I also like the look of it. I think it's a really striking some striking visuals, so caught my eye. I like the hero, that's why I bought him. I also bought another entry in the DC Year of the Villain. They're doing this infected branch as well, where seemingly good guys are doing bad things or extreme things, and there's one with Commissioner Gordon, a character that I do enjoy in Gotham. I don't think that they do a whole lot sometimes with his character, and if they're gonna be spending a whole comic kind of deconstructing him as a person, and I read kind of the beginning of it, and it got me sold on this story, and I like the look of it, so I'm definitely, I'm excited to read this. And I'm going to be doing a video on a lot of these DC or the villains, so I figured I'd pick that up. I also picked up the second in the mask arc that I bought the first of last update, um, featuring, again, a much more politically charged look. It's very stark and dark and extreme. Again, the, the mask comic is pretty graphic and extreme, but this just looks fucking intense, and I'm excited to sit down and read it. <clears throat> and then I also bought the third part in a Daredevil story arc that I'm trying to get all of called Through Hell. Um, this one is Kingpin on the cover. It's part three of, I think, five. So I think we're halfway through buying these. And once I buy them, I'll read them and talk about them on the channel. And now for the vinyl, something that I know some people are really into. Uh, so the first one I'm going to talk about was a gift from my girlfriend. It was a, it's a game soundtrack for Toe Jam and Earl. I talked about this on my Games of the Decade list that I got this vinyl. And the, the sleeve has the story of the game in its open, or in its, you know, in, in the sleeve. And then the actual vinyl themselves are pressed on this, like, trippy splash, this, like, tie-dye splash. Uh, this is the first, first, first one. And then the second one is also very, very trippy. Now there's only three sides to the soundtrack, so on the other side they put just the cover art in like a weird negative gray. It's pretty cool. Now one of the weird things about this uh, that I DM'd them about is when it was in the package, I was like, what the hell is this? I got a card. I got a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles trading card in here. It says, framed by a foe. And I got a DM them, I was like, hey, this is neat. And they were like, I don't know why that's in there, but that's cool. Um, so yeah, I got I got a TMNT card with my Toe Jam and Earl vinyl, mysteriously. I don't know why. 
And like I said on my games and soundtrack or games of the games of the year list, this is a really cool soundtrack. It's very funky. It's got some nice grooves. It's got some fat bass, and it's a, it's a fun ass record that has uh, some throwback sounds in it that I really enjoy. And I, I'm glad that I got it. It's a it's a nice it's a nice little addition. Uh, now one I bought on Black Friday because we did a little Black Friday shopping, and there was a record that. I saw and I was like, you know what? I want it. I like this record a lot. It's my favorite record by this artist, and I really enjoy its sound. And I think it'd be a nice thing to add to the collection. And it's Childish Gambino's "Awaken My Love." I adore this fucking project. I think it sounds so classic, and I love how good this vinyl looks. Like the packaging is super, super straightforward, super clean, but. I love this project. I think it's very, very good. And I think it's going to sound great on a turntable. This is one of those records that I will throw on just to vibe to um, with the record. I think this is a dope, dope project. And uh, yeah, I had to have it. Had to have it. Saw it. It was on a good sale. And I had to have it. Because it's, it's, it's a great fucking record, dude. Now, last one. The one I'm the most excited to have in my collection. Because it was a limited pressing. The minute I saw it, I pre-ordered it. I don't pre-order vinyl much. But I saw that this artist was collaborating with a website that I buy a lot of merch from, and I, I had to have it. And that is the vinyl pressing of Disaster Pieces, Rise of the Obsidian Interstellar. I put this on my albums of the decade list. Y'all know I love Rich Reland. I think he's an amazing composer. I think he's an amazing musician. And this is a really well done uh, pressing of this project. I think that the, the vinyl itself looks really fucking cool. It's got this splash splash look to it um the packaging itself also kind of classic it's got the black the black sleeve it's it's a great it's a great looking record for a project that again sound, it's gonna sound great on a turntable this is this is an amazing record and i i love it i think that it's super trippy i think it's super spacey existential in the right ways and it's a project that i'm just i'm so happy to have bought like again, this is an immediate purchase for me because I love, I love, um, I love this project. I love this artist, and this is not his best. I mean, not my favorite project of his, obviously. If you've seen the the albums of the decade list, but this is this is up there for me. This is like my top three projects he's been a part of, and I wish he did more stuff like this because the chip tune sounds on here are really rich and full, and I like that it's not tied to anything. It's its own contained piece, and I think that it's worth your time. Again, if you haven't listened to this record. You're doing yourself a disservice. Listen to it. It's a classic. It's a modern classic, in my opinion. Especially if you like that old school video game sound. And that's my that's my update. That's my collection update across the board. My vinyl and my comics. What did you think of them? Did you like any of these records? Do you like any of these heroes or comics? Let me know in those comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like it, be sure to give it a like. If you want to see more of my music, gaming, and general nerdery content, be sure to subscribe. Special thanks to my patrons. If you would like to join their ranks, get early access to content, get exclusive content, and help drive the community, it's linked in the description. I'm going to get out of here. I've been Viral Rack. You guys have good day's life situations, and I'll see you another day.